Hi, I'm Karen from Cafe Bebe, and the topic this week on Brit Mums is Mummy Me Time. And what will you do now that your children are back in school with that extra Mummy Me Time? I'm actually wondering what exactly Mummy Me Time is, because I've just run down here. Ella actually is upstairs having a nap, and because today's not a school day for us, and so for my me time, after she was sleeping, I had a bath, got dressed, put some makeup on, and came down here to do this. That's my mummy me time today. Um, that doesn't mean to say that I haven't been doing some work um, throughout the day while Ella has been here this morning, but I'm curious as to what mummy me time is. Um, is it just having time to yourself? Is it time to pamper yourself? Is it time to get your work done? Is it time to do the housework? It seems like if you're saying mummy me time, it should be something some, somewhat indulgent as opposed to tedious or work related. So in that case, I have no clue if I'll even get any mummy me time. Ella will be going to school Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursdays from 9.15 to 3.15. So that gives me six hours to do me time stuff. For me, personally, that's going to mean giving me a bit more extra time to focus on uh, my freelance work, social media, my blog, not the housework. That's not my primary focus. Um, but, you know, I'll do a little bit of that along the way. Cooking, having dinner ready, things like that. Um, but as far as me time goes, I'm going to struggle with that because I have a hard time separating the work side of me and the indulgent side of me. Um, as you can see, I'm pregnant. The baby is due uh, at the beginning of December, but it could be as early as the end of November that we have baby number two. Um, so I have basically two and a half months until my whole world is turned upside down again. But I'm quite excited about the fact that I do have two and a half months to at least get a little bit of my work done, have a little bit of time to myself before I am again thrown into the mothering a newborn phase. I'm also really glad for Ella's sake that she'll be at school three days a week. So she will have her time, I will have my time with the baby, and then we can find our own time together, hopefully, Ella and myself as well, to find our own time. So as far as me time goes, it's a struggle. I think we all struggle with it. But um, I'm trying to do one thing in particular right now. When we went on holiday last week, I read two, count them, two books. Uh, I read The Beach Cafe and I read One Day. Everybody's talking about reading One Day. So I read it, and I was really pleased to have been doing the reading. Um, I didn't have the luxury of the internet or Twitter or my smartphone to distract me, and I found it was really, really pleasant again to read and sort of lose myself. I don't read heavy novels. I don't read, you know, <laughs> difficult things. I like chick lit. I like books about mummies. I like books about traveling, things like that. So it's not like I'm going to be tackling War and Peace anytime soon. I really am supposed to be getting into the Harry Potter. But that is one thing that I'm going to try to do more of in the next two and a half months, and when I get the opportunity after the, ne the new baby arrives, is um, a goal of, of doing more reading. So that's one of my big me time things. So I'm just curious, how do you spend your me time? Do you get me time? Have you forgotten what me time is, like me? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I look forward to seeing you later on Cafe Bebe and Brit Moms. And until next time, bye.